All right, see that this is chicken wrap. And this is how we gonna eat the chicken wrap. Watch your you know. Not much meat that they panning. Mm. I don't like skin. Chris said me know you're gonna talk about what? Mm. No. If you lost, now you found. So like, comment, share, and subscribe right now. Cause I'm your plug, and I'm about to put you on to Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. He'll give you the recipes, he'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food review. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee. Oh, baby. Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. Mm hmm. You know how to use those spices, too, baby. Mm hmm. You ever had real Jamaican food? Some oxtails? You have. From where? California. Napa Valley. Cha, please. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food with you. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee. Oh, baby. Adrian's cooking and food with you, baby. Come on in, baby. And make sure you tell a friend. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be making lemon garlic honey chicken. We're gonna be doing this in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and season this up and I'll show you how we get started. All right, over here we have some sweet potatoes and cauliflower. We already washed them, um, peeled the potatoes, rinsed them, have some water on it. We're gonna move over to the stove, salt up this water, bring them to a boil until they're nice and tender. And then we'll show you what we'll do with that after. Over here we have our lemon, garlic, onion, jalapenos. We have our honey. Um, we're gonna show you how we use that also. All right, so first we're gonna go in with some garlic salt with parsley, just a little bit, because we're not using too much salt. All right. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of, and our chicken is already washed and um, dried with paper towel because we don't want too much liquid because we're gonna bake it and we want a nice little crust on it. We go in with some um, brown jerk seasoning. Now, as you can see, we have whole allspice in there and so on. We're going in with some paprika. The paprika is just gonna help with the beautiful color and it does have a little earthy flavor too. And we're gonna go in with some onion powder. Some garlic powder, some adobo, all purpose, black pepper, of course, you know, we got to get a little kick in there. And last but not least, my new favorite seasoning, other than my ground jerk seasoning, the Badia Complete Seasoning. Now, this doesn't have much salt at all, it's a lot of dried vegetables and herbs. So don't be shy, you can use a decent amount. All right, let's go in with a little bit more of that jerk. So you wanna get in there and just rub up all your chicken. All right, and marinate it for about 30 minutes. But I don't have time right now, so I'm not even gonna marinate it for 30 minutes. Thanks to my mama, she taught me her ways. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a moment, all right? All right? So now we're over at our stove. We have our cauliflower and our sweet potato in our pot. We're gonna go ahead and salt the water. Just make sure you salt it liberally because it's just gonna, um, you know, flavor it up. All right, so we're gonna bring this to a boil until it's nice and tender. And I'll see you in just a few. So now we had a conversation the other day on Jill's live, right? And we were talking about chicken back, right? 
and everybody was like, chicken back, I wanna eat chicken back. This is what we call chicken back. So I'm showing you today how we eat chicken back in Jamaica. Yeah, cause a lot of people were like, chicken back, oh my God. No, chicken back, good man. See it right there, son? We are gonna do up the chicken back today. All right, so we're gonna place this in our oven at 350 degrees, not 350, 400 degrees. And we're gonna bake this off for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go in and create our marinade and we're gonna glaze our chicken after 30 minutes. So I'll see you guys in just a few. All right, so we smash our potatoes and our cauliflower. Now we have two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of cream cheese. We're gonna go ahead and fold this all in. Then we're gonna go over to the stove and caramelize some jalapeno, onion, and garlic. And then we're gonna fold that into our potatoes and we're gonna top it with a little bit of cheese and put it in the oven to get a nice bubbly deliciousness. So guys, stick around because I'll see you in just a few, all right? All right guys, so we're gonna be making our glaze. Now, if you know me, you know me. I don't normally show you all the steps. So in here we have some grated garlic, about six cloves. The juice and zest of one lemon, one large lemon. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Then we're gonna go in with some black pepper. A little bit of garlic salt with parsley, just a little bit. Some paprika. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. We want to make sure that this have maximum flavor. Our chicken is almost ready to come out and a little bit of badia complete seasoning. We're just gonna whisk this all together. We're gonna pull our chicken out in just a moment. We're gonna start basting our chicken, all right? So I'll see you guys in just a moment, all right? All right, there's our beautiful chicken. We're gonna go on with our garlic, honey, lemon glaze. Mmm, 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 mmm. Just look at that. Wow. I just tried this recipe out for the other day and I was like, damn, this is good. Mmm. We're gonna go ahead and glaze both sides. And we're gonna stick this back in the oven for a few more minutes. And the last bit of glaze that we have, we're just gonna pour it in the bottom after and put it on there to broil it. But just look how delicious that looks. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so I'm looking at the chicken, you know, normally because I cut them in quarters, I was thinking they're probably gonna need a little bit more time. But these chicken are actually cooked. So we're gonna put them on there to broil it now. Just look at that. Look at the garlic standing right on it. And the garlic just gonna caramelize in there and just soak in the flavor. So we're gonna put this on the broiler for another five minutes. Um, Cause the chicken been going for the last about 35 minutes. But just look at that. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so in our pot right here, we're caramelizing some jalapeno, onion, and garlic. And a little bit of butter and oil. We're gonna be making some jalapeno sweet corn. So, we're gonna go ahead and caramelize this on low heat. And we're gonna put half of it in our um, cauliflower sweet mash. And then the other half, we're gonna saute our, our corn in, all right? So we turn up the heat, we add in our corn. We put a little bit of paprika in there. Now we're gonna go in with our Badia Complete Season. As I said, this is one of my favorite seasons nowadays, a little bit of black pepper. Um, garlic start with parsley. This is all this salt pretty much going into these corn. And then a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder. We're gonna fold this all in. And just let it create like a nice little saute for another three minutes, all right? All right, so we have, we have our um, jalapeno and onion and garlic mixture that we saute. We're gonna fold that in and then we'll be right back, all right? So we have our potatoes all lined out in our pot. Now we're gonna top this with cheese and we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for until it's nice and bubbly, all right? So I'll see you guys in the mukbang. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, 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 we have some delicious, cheesy, sweet, 
cauliflower mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm excited. We have the garlic lemon honey chicken, and then we have the jalapeno sweet corn. Whew. I'm in heaven right now, but let's pray. We're gonna dig into this, and we're gonna sing a little bit of song by Jacure. All right, let's pray. Bow our heads, most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before you in presence. We will that you bless this food, bless the hands that prepare it, let it be of nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And don't judge me today, because I'm gonna be eating a lot of food today, because guess what? I've ate all day, and it's almost 6 p.m. So let's get our thumbnail in, and then we are going to dig into the food a little bit and then we're gonna um, have our prayer, all right? So let's do this. Let's move it on. All right. So per usual, you know me. If you know me, you know me. As my girl Silas would say. So we're gonna um, go in and cut out a piece of this um, potato. It's nice and cheesy. Oh, it's hot too. You know what, I should have gotten like a spatula to get this out. Oh. Ooh. You see that crust on the side? Oh my goodness. And this is gonna be, it's gonna be hot. But let's try and get another thumbnail in. All right. Let's center our food. We got some tiger sauce on deck. And you know, when you used to go to a restaurant, right? And you have those people who said they are low calorie, they're just cheap. And they get one of these singles. You know, I'm doing it for the low calorie. It says five calorie per drink, so, you know. This is cherry pomegranate by Welch. And you know, then you gotta shake, 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 shake. The color is beautiful though, I must say. All right, we're gonna dig into some of this food. Mmm. Pretty good. It's a little sour. Mm. Let me get another spoon because I want to be well mannered when I'm letting you try the food. I want to make sure that I give you from a fresh spoon, you know? Yeah. All right, we're going to go in with our cheesy. Look at that. Take a bite. Take a bite. Ooh. Mm. Look at that teaspoon. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna give you a piece of this chicken now. I'm gonna show you to eat the chicken box still in them. Take a bite. Never in my wildest dream mm. would I think that I would like lemon on my chicken. I love paint the corn. Mm. Those are perfectly sweet. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a little bit of this tiger sauce. It don't need it, but. But I like the sauce. Mm. All right, I'm gonna give you a bite with the tiger sauce. Take a bite. Mm. 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 Got him? Oh man. Mm. 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 So, I 
the song that we're going to discuss as per usual has nothing to do with me but we don't have to read in that instance we can read it as just normal life together because you know sometimes we as people we get ourselves into trouble and then we look back and we said if we had known if we could get a chance another chance we wouldn't do that again so this is a song by Jacquea and it says behind these prison walls doing my basics doing my time time prison on no a bed of roses the liberty it makes me bow, bow I wish that John could come and take us back second time cause I swear I can be a better man Yes, I swear If only you could understand The bed to me, the bed to me Reflection <laughs> I don't know this rest of the song But That goes to show you that we as human beings uh, When we're making our actions We typically don't think about You know, the struggles that we might face Through those actions and if you realize through the song, it's um, if we could get another chance, he know he can be a better man. Now, I'm not judging Jacure. It's a really reality song. Quite often, you hear kids or grown people say, "If I could live that moment over again, I would change this and I would change that." No, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you get you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, but you know, take a bite. Mm. Mm. But you see him. We also had this discussion on one of my live, and the creative girl says it's not important for you to make mistakes per se because you can learn from other people's mistakes. I totally agree. Because now that I hear Jacquea sing that song, first of all, I've heard a lot of people have experienced about prison. Never want to be there. Never going to get myself into no situation to be there. But you never know. I may be in the wrong place at the wrong time, but that's also another thing. That's why I'm a homebody. Um, but yeah, so, you know, listen to that song and he says, not a bed of roses. The liberty makes him cry. I'm like, mm. Adrian, now you know you don't want to be nowhere near those prison walls. Mm. Look at that. Sorry. Whew. Let me give you a bite. I was just telling you to look at it. I'm going to hold it long enough. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. I must say, this is so luscious. Mm. Mm. And that cheese that melted on the top, just give it like a meaty texture. All right, see that this is chicken rock, and this is how we're gonna eat the chicken rock. Watch that now, you know, not much meat in the panty. Mm. I don't like skin. Chris said, Me know you have a top, but what? No. Mm. I know a lot of you are gonna be there. Like, Where's the meat? But as you can see, I'm getting a lot of meat. Mm. 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 One thing we're not gonna do still. I never mean, throw my bone pan camera. But we make sure so we get everything off of the chicken back. Everything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hey. 
Go get you a nice bite right now. Mm. Look at a piece of the breast. You want a piece of the breast? All right, sit there. Let me get some tiger sauce. Put on top, just for you. Because the last time we make a mukbang, when you say me not giving you none of the food. So see there, one nice bite for you. Make sure you savor it, you know. Wow. Mm. 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 That one is hidden. Mm. But yeah, there's another song with him. Never know the use of her till me lose her. Never know the use of her till she gone. You know? So we got to be mindful of different situations because, you know, we're not going to know how it feels until we're in a situation. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> Growing up in Jamaica, mm. my mother always tell me, say, Adi is most fear. Mm. And you know what that means? If you're not listen, you will get whooping. Or not give a whooping either, you know. Sometimes you just not listen and you buck up in at some problem. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. I really never know so many of this today. Mm. I know somebody out here probably make lemon, lemon chicken, lemon garlic chicken. Only lemon chicken, but none to compare to this. Take a bite. Mm. And I must tell you that tiger sauce, this is the habanero lime. Mm. 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 This is really magical. Mm. Make me cock you up because me no want to dash it. Mm -mm. Make you another bite. See them? Look how it's cheesy. Look them. Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. This is so cheesy. Mm. I did tell you in front of time, said, don't judge me. Because I'm going mash up the plate today. Mm. Mm. I think the video is getting a little bit too long, so let me give you the last bite. And then we'll finish this up off camera. Because it's too nice. Mm. Enjoy it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. This was delicious. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, you've been here before, and this is your first time here, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as always, say share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors, share with everybody. Don't be selfish. They want to be a part of this fun and personality. Don't click out the video just yet. Be serenaded by the one and only Silas Mukbang. Thank you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.